Right, welcome back to Nick's allotment. Today I'm going to have a go at doing my no dig bed. I've acquired a load of cardboard. I've got that from a local bike store. So I've took all the staples and snow tape on it. Just the odd little sticky label. I have to cut half the box off to get it off. So right, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Right, so what we need to do is just lay all the cardboard down in there. Right, placed all the cardboard down. So, next stage, this is my way of doing it, right or not. So, I'm attempting. So, next stage, give it a good water in the cardboard. Right, I'm not going to water the whole lot because I, I don't know how quick I can get it covered so I should give this another can full and then we'll get some muck on it. I'm going to carry on mucking it and then I'll bring you back folks. Right, ready for the next layer. This is community compost. It's what it's like your green bin waste. I don't know if you can see that. That's lovely and black and that's so that's the next stage, so I'll put a big layer of that on. So that's finished the bed with compost on top of the manure. Uh, now I'm going to put some of my leaf mould on the top. Get, so it can get mixed in. So I'll go and fetch that.
Right, so that's what I'm going to do on my beds. Then I might just get a my little wolf tool to mix it all in. I might not yet, I might just plant straight into that. So this is two year old leaf mulch. This is what I sipped, sipped last year. Probably 18 months old. Right, so that's what I'm going to be doing folks. So I'm going to crack on and do this and I'll bring you back when I've done that. This is my attempt to the no-dig bed. I can see all the blackbirds going to be coming here, worming. Mr. Robbins found it. Got a nest in on Joe's plot. I might try and put it in the footage. So this is my attempt at no-dig bed. That's the way I'm going to do it. Any tips are welcome. So. We'll crack on for something else now. Right, I'm going to plant my first things in the no-dig bed. So I'm going to plant some lettuce. Here they are. These ones are grown in the peat blocks. As you can see, some good roots on them. That should bait, break off nice. Right, so what I've got, these are just a mix, mix green mix. These are some little gems. And then these are oak leaf lettuce. So I'm just going to mix them all up so it's a mixing match. So I'm going to put two rows in here. And then I'm going to put a row in my other bed to compare the ones to this. So I don't think my no bed will be brilliant this time because it hasn't all mixed up properly. So. I'm going to crack on anyway. Right, so I'll start off, I'll put a little gem in. I'll put them about 10 inches apart. Right, you get the gist of it, so I'll crack on and I'll bring you back when I put these in. I'll put two rows in. I should put these 12 inches apart and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Right, I decided I'm only going to put one row in. So I'm going to put some radishes in next, but I did some 
about three weeks ago in some plugs and I'll show you them. So firstly I'm going to tip this over and then plant up against here and that's roughly 11 inches between the rows. But these are the radish, some of them are nearly ready for pulling. So I'll put the ones that's not so bigger plugs like that. I only, I only done this because I hadn't got nowhere ready to put them in, so I thought I'd get some earlier ones. Give them a water. I've got to give them plenty because the soil might be a bit dry underneath. Right, time to cover them up now. So here we go. Right, there we go, they're all covered up now, I'll just show you. I can't quite get the five on there, so I'll just leave a couple sticking out. So I'm going to plant the same now on the ordinary bed what I've dug. Right, there we go folks, I've just planted the same as what I've done on the no dig bed. Just a bit of comparison, see if we get any difference. Hopefully less weeds. So I've covered them with the Victorian cloches. Good agrilan. There we go. After watching my videos showing the root trainers, and they asked if I'd like to try some of their stuff. And I'm not paid for doing this. And I'm not sponsored, it's just they've sent it me free of charge and I'll just show you what I've got. So first thing I'm going to be trying is this Agrilan slug traps. They sent me a few different products so this is one of them, what I'm using today and it's uh, slug traps, you can see. There's the instructions, I don't know if you can see, I'll take a picture and I'll leave it in the end of the, the links and if you're interested in any contact them, mention my name, they might give you a bit of discount, I'm not saying they will, so I'll just show you these to start off. Right, comes in three parts. So you got a bottle, 
little little trap what the slugs sit in. Saves using them pesky blue pellets. Put the lid on it. But you've got to use this attractor, what you put in there. This attracts the slugs. So you've got to mix that with 240 mils of water. And then you just keep checking your traps probably every other day, unless you've got a bad infestation of them. And just keep draining it. So you just pull the pot out from the bottom, dry, let the water drain back in into the dish, and then you just chuck your slugs away. And they're not harmful to birds. It'll say in the description on the packet. I'll put it up at the end. So let's crack on and get it going. All right, there we go. There's one. I'll put two in this one and be one in me no dig bed because I think I'll have more slugs here and I will over in me no dig bed so so there we go I'll leave a link in the description where you can get them from if you're interested or you might have your own methods make your own so thank you to Agriland for sending me this stuff Kindly right. sent by Nick from Nick's Allotment Diary. A load of sunflower seeds, and this is what they are. Firecracker orange. Multi head. Russian giant. An American giant. Right, so I'm going to join the. Hashtag sunflower challenge. So we'll crack on. So thanks Nick for sending these. We'll see how good we do. Got some big seeds. Look at them beauties. Right, so these are just like 20 cell trays, so hopefully I've got 20. Of each I've just put them into normal multi-purpose compost with sticks in this one there I'll give this try a good watering So right, we've got 18 of those. I'll just put a bit of compost over the top. Right. So, don't forget to label them. When I can find the label I've done. So there we go. Right. I'll just do the others and I'll bring you back. Right, there we go. Uh, that's all my sunflowers planted. So thanks again for Nick for sent to, sending me the sunflower seeds. Um, if you want to join in on the sunflower challenge, go over to Nick's allotment or hashtag giant sunflowers, see what the rules are, and then just join in and take a look at, take a look at Nick's allotment diary channel. Alright folks, update on my blackbird nest. As you can see there's still eggs in there. I think she's succumbed to either a cat or she's just left the nest. I know it's not a crow or anything because the eggs would have gone or a magpie so I'm just going to take a nest out. And I might come back and rebuild. I'll just show you these eggs. I 
that's what blackbird eggs look like if you've never seen them it's just a shame right there we go so that's going to be it for this video thanks for watching and subscribing so till next time ta -ra.